What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to Because Reasons, where I play video games because, you know, reasons and such. Uh, this is How to Survive Storm Warning Edition on the Xbox One. Uh, this is a game that is part of the August Games with Gold program on the Xbox One, and it is a game that I feel had some promise, uh, but I played a bit of it last night and just couldn't really get into it. So, I'm thinking that perhaps... It is more of a game that is good for multiplayer and not as much for single player as, uh, or perhaps I'm just, you know, not understanding what, uh, it should be. But, in any event, I will show you what I mean here, uh, on this episode of Because Reasons. You can see here this is an isometric game, much in the vein of, say, Diablo, Torchlight, uh, Legends of Zelda, that kind of thing. It is three-quarter overhead. Uh, you cannot rotate the map, and it is a kind of a twin stick type deal when you want to deal with your weapons. Uh, so, this is a zombie survival game. It has a story, it has stuff that has no story, uh, that, you know, like other modes and such. Uh, we're going to make sure we have the machete, and we have the flashlight when we need it. But, uh, so, right trigger is your attack. And my biggest complaint with the game is that the attacking is not particularly satisfying. Uh, and that, above all else, when you play a video game with zombies, if the attacking is not satisfying, that is going to impact your enjoyment of said video game. So, our goal right now is to go get gasoline. Uh, you can see there we have a health bar. Uh, this mode does not have permadeath, but there is a mode that has permadeath. Uh, you can collect various things in your environment. Uh, I actually think I'm going the wrong way here. Uh, maybe. Perhaps. So we're going to keep on heading in this direction. Uh, and there... Yep. Wrong way. Uh, there is a day-night cycle. Uh, I'm not sure if that's based on the mission you're on or if that just happens automatically. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's based on the mission you're on, because this one is, it, they, they give you the flashlight saying, hey, it's going to get dark. So, that is how that works. But, uh, it's got, before I get into it here, it's got uh, a crafting system, so you can choose things and then combine them. I don't have anything to combine with right now, but you can see there's a little icon there to combine them. I would assume to also upgrade your shit, etc, etc. And you can't, uh... Rotate the map in any way because the right stick is to is to go uh, with the direction you want to chop and shoot or whatever. Problem is when you're aiming, you walk a lot slower. Uh, you also have a sprint here, which is which is the left trigger, and you can see here uh, people. Oh god! Oh god! Uh, people. Uh, other gamer tags that are in my. I'm, I'm not sure if they're all on, on, my, on my friends list. Or, come on. Uh, or not. I know that Daigoro is certainly on, on, my, on my friends list, but uh, I, I, I have a somewhat large friends list, so I lose track. Um, the one thing in this game that I will give you credit for is that this stuff here, the tutorial stuff, uh, is has a good sense of humor, and I can appreciate that. Uh, certainly when you're, when you're doing any kind of a z zombie property. Having a good sense of humor uh, is ideal, because if, if you take yourself too seriously, it's not, you know, like, there, there are good ways and bad ways to do it. But we're going to uh, skip out of that, because I don't have the audio all the way up, but I can't hear it. So uh, we're heading toward the exclamation point on our map. Uh, there is, you can get, you can refill your th thirst by drinking, but that hasn't really come into play thus far yet in terms of, uh, I don't see a thirst meter, so I'm not entirely sure, uh, what that's about. I need to head up here, but there are gonna be zombies. So, it feels like the kill animation, which is you, you get that, uh, occasionally. I, there, there, there's the, there's the creatures that don't like, like, like the light. They take a lot more hits than, uh, the, the zombies do. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen a thirst... Fuck off. I haven't seen a thirst meter yet, and I don't think that drinking regains... No, it doesn't. 
uh, I don't think it does. Or at least it's not significant. Um, your health. I'm not sure if your if your weapons degrade or not. Uh, but obviously you want to go for the kill strike if at all possible because that's going to be instant. And it seems like that other enemies can't interrupt when you're doing the kill strike. So that that is why it is super useful. Um, but uh, there we go. No, just yeah. How about you fuck off? I mean, like, the 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 general atmosphere, uh, I think is alright. Uh, I like how they're taking this kind of game in this direction. Uh, like, the part where it feels like it was pitched in an elevator as, hey, let's do, um, aim potion. Let's do Diablo with zombies. Like, that kind of feels like what the one sentence pitch was, but... That's not a bad idea. Like, if you told me, hey, Diablo's and, uh, Diablo and Zombie, uh, I'd be interested. Uh, but I feel like the execution here is a bit lacking, and that's kind of where my, my problems are. Like, the... It doesn't feel like you have a good amount of impact. Like, it's not satisfying to smash things in the head uh, and such. Uh, I don't know if what I have can smash this. Because there's tape on it, and apparently tape is too tough for, uh, what I have, so... Try a couple more times here, but I don't think it's gonna work. So there's something in there. There's, there's stuff in there. Uh, and you can see there, I have a battery meter on my flashlight, and that's a problem. Uh, because obviously you don't want to run out, because there are creatures that only appear at night. So, that being said, we're gonna continue to make our way over to, uh, where the gasoline is. Because uh, that is our current objective. I've made it that far, and I've almost made it back, but ended up getting swarmed by like 8 million zombies, and then uh, didn't have enough health to heal myself with. Uh, and that's kind of been, I guess, the problem that I've had thus far, is that uh, I'm playing on easy, and it seems like there's not enough healing materials. Uh, it is really like, they hammer down that survival stuff pretty hard, but it's really, I found it really difficult to avoid getting hit when you're getting swarmed by fucking 8,000 zombies. So, that's kind of where I take issue with uh, how they do things. Perhaps I should be better at running away. Like, you know, that certainly seems like a thing that I should be able to do. Uh, there's a longbow here. Let us uh, refill our flashlight. And take this reel. And this is gonna say, hey, you can craft. So yeah, that's, that's, uh, now we can actually go to this reel here. Or no, can we? Uh, combine? No. Um, there's the arrows. It was like the, hold on. Perhaps it's actually in there. Um, I'm gonna drink this here. Yeah, that, that doesn't actually do anything for us. So before we go into this thing, we're gonna heal up here. Um, and my phone's ringing, so, uh, hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. There it is. Uh, fl 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 flexible branch is what I needed. So I take that, and then we combine it with the reel, and we get a bow. So now we can equip the bow, and then we have a uh, bow and arrow that I can shoot. I have like nine more arrows. So, uh, I got this far, and then we open this door here, and then we shoot this fucker here. Oops. Like that, and then you get your arrows back, obviously, because it's, it's you know that kind of video game. Uh, oops. And they, but then, like, they keep coming. Like, there's an alarm thing here, and they just keep on keeping on, and that's annoying. But you know, I understand that from a gameplay. Uh, how come I can't change? Whatever. Uh, I understand that from a gameplay perspective. You know, that's this is your. But the healing stuff is what really... It's difficult. There we go. Do that. And it seems like you can't get interrupted, so you can kind of just keep on... You're mashing the right trigger and then mashing A, but it's not super satisfying uh, when, when you're doing it. Uh, perhaps there's a better way to go about that, but I haven't actually figured out how to do that quite yet. There we go. Green. And I got an achievement. Wait your turn. Okay. So... 
Uh, arrows, arrows. Do I have my arrows back? Equip. Nope. Combine. Real. Equip. Okay, I've got two arrows. I don't know where the, all, all the other arrows went. Uh, there we go, arrows. It's four. I had like nine, and you would think they'd be all on the ground, but apparently, uh... I'm wrong, or I shot them... I missed. Which is possible. But I feel like... Hold on. I feel like, uh... Going back to the... Melee from having the, uh, whatchamacallit, is a pain in the ass. Anyway, uh... Let me get my goal here, which is the jerry can. Now, I can close that door, uh, but when I did that, that last time, zombies kept, kept coming from the inside. Like, I closed it here, and they would come knock on the door from the outside, but also from in this little room here, which made no fucking sense. But, what do I know? Uh, let's not worry about it. Let's uh, open it up again, recharge our flashlight. Uh, with LB here. Oh, it's empty. Okay, great. Fantastic. That means, let's go back to where our mission marker was, uh, and see if I, I can actually complete this mission. I have my doubts. But, it seems to be almost daytime, so maybe that will help. Um, equip. I got eight arrows. Good enough. So we're gonna head around here, but you can see when, when you're aiming, it is much, it's much slower, uh, and so you have to be very sure of your position when you are aiming that stuff. Uh, but hey, it's a deer. Oh, fuck, man. Not cool, deer. Oops. All right, get out of the back. So I'm assuming that you can, you know, eventually do mods and upgrades and get, you know, like flaming arrows or, you know. Whatever else uh, is possible. But, we just have the basic classic arrows here. Uh, and we're going to try to head back and not get swarmed. We're probably going to get swarmed. And we're probably going to die. So there's that to look forward to. Uh, I was not able to complete this last night. Uh, there's probably a better way to do that. But, like, I'm hitting Y and it just goes between melee. So you got to actually go between melee and... Uh, on. Never mind, I'm sorry. It is right bumper. I'm an idiot. What else is new? And here comes the fucking... Here comes the problem where they just kind of swarm you like like motherfuckers. Because, you know, they're zombies. I'm not going to fault the game design for that. But when what you play in the face smashing is not super satisfying, uh, it, kind of makes me, it kind of makes me not want to keep playing, is my thought on the matter. And... As much as you go, okay, it's 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 a zombie thing. Just run, just running. Not really uh, the best option, as they will keep chasing you, and then you can't get to the mission marker because you have like 45 zombies who just want to eat your face off. And you know, fair enough. That's what they do. They're they're, they're, they're fucking zombies. Um, but yeah, you just kind of it just kind of ramps up to a level that uh, it's hard to fend them off when there are a bunch of them. And there's not a lot of healing stuff going on, like, that you find, or at least that I've found so far in the game. Perhaps there's more of it the, m the more you play, uh, but I haven't found too much. So, we actually finished that mission. So I got this gas can now, from Ramon. Mission complete, congratulations. Level up. So there, 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 is, a, there is a leveling system here that has perks, uh... So, we got here. Lucky Arrow, Quick Aim, uh, Fast Hand, Hunger Killer, and Last Hunter. So we're gonna go Hunger Killer, and that shows, slows up all the food gauge. I haven't even gotten to the food gauge stuff yet, so uh, that seems important. All we have right now is just health stuff, so uh, there are obviously, this is very early in the game, and there are more systems to discover, etc, etc, as we wait for... Uh, Ramon here, the bad guy, uh, to, uh, make it to wherever... Oh no, I actually gotta, I gotta go up there. So, he can go back to do his thing, I gotta go rescue somebody else, uh, and then perhaps we'll, uh, wrap up this video, probably, because you've kind of seen what the core gameplay seems to be. Obviously, there's probably more to it that I haven't gotten to yet, because I, you know, played maybe 45 minutes of it last night, and, uh, 
just found the c combat to be unsatisfying, and that's kind of where I stopped. Um, I think finishing that mission actually got my health refilled, so I'll give it that. Uh, anyway, but let us head to whatever's right here. Hey, guy. Hey, are, are, oh, so this, this is the guy who gives you all the tutorials. Kovac. So, how did you end up in... I'm Kovac. And we washed up on this island, uh, and we don't know what we're doing, and it's about survival. You look a little, uh, Objectives. So, we're not gonna do that, uh, but I'm gonna try to keep playing this a little bit longer. Perhaps I'll look at it in a f future video, but just real quick here. Uh, I will show you that there are other modes that are basically the same gameplay stuff, but a little bit different. Uh, there's a challenge mode where you get particular challenges. Um, I'm running a one player, same character, Island of the Fatties, and then Chainsaw Massacre, and you know, so let's just say the, the very first challenge here, and I'm playing it on easy, there are a bunch of fat zombies that explode, S surprise, surprise, as you know, the archetype uh, of Le Le Left 4 Dead and the Boomer. Um, so, here is what this looks like when you go into it. Um, you wake up here on the beach, and then your goal is to survive, or, you know, accomplish things, etc, etc. Uh, but I don't have a fucking weapon, so I need a goddamn... There it is. Wooden stick. To fight these small enemy crabs, rusty machete. And you can see there, there, there's, there's a fatty over there. Uh, I guess is what they are called in this game. Um, but this is this, 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 this stuff is random, right? So you're gonna. Oh, you don't want to run into the fatties because they explode like that, and it takes you know. So there are objectives here. You can see them on the map, uh, but I'm not gonna kind of find too much of that. Uh, I will also say that, that there is a permadeath mode uh, that is all randomly uh, scoped out here. One shot escape. It's all random. And then there is a batter cave which is kind of like a more uh, Fortnite type idea of uh, building up your base as waves attack you uh, at night. But, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, I think you've seen what the core of How to Survive is. Uh, Storm Warning Edition on the Xbox One, uh, also on the PC. I don't know if it's on PS4 or not, I'm not actually sure. Uh, but I'm a tax slug, this is because reasons. And my, 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 my reasons are it was free, and I wanted to understand what it was, uh, and I kind of wish it was better. So, that being said, I'll see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out!